Hey Virgo, I hope you guys had a great weekend. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Also, if you'd like to become a member, there is a join button beneath the video and or on my channel, uh, $2.99 per month for membership. Be a part of the Virgo gang. All right, you guys, so let's get into your reading, personal reading link is in the description box below let's see what the week looks like for you virgo we are looking at uh we're gonna start let's see by the time this comes out so we're gonna have to cut it short tuesday february 20th through the 25th okay virgo what mess Ooh, something flew out already open up your heart virgo it will help you help you attract more love let's see what else do you have and they will be back expect to hear from them soon uh, hopefully they're not <laughs> hopefully they're good and health health issues could arise okay 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 let's see opening up your heart let's see what's going on here um virgo sun moon rising or venus oh they're just giving me that remember that old song Oh, listen to your heart. I forget who sings it. Listen to your heart. All right, anyway, when they're calling for you. So somebody's going to be calling for you this week. And um, you're being advised here to open yourself up in the way of like, open your eyes is what I feel like. You know, the way the window to the heart is through the eyes, to the soul is through the eyes. I'm hearing something along the lines of like, Maybe you open up your phone and you see there's a missed call from someone or um, maybe there's a message. There's something here along the lines of like opening up, being honest, um, reveal your truth this week, Virgo. Let's see. Ooh, wow. Okay. Some of you got to tell somebody that yeah you don't like being ghosted and you're not into that what's your truth virgo what is your truth this week what do you need to tell someone or what do you need to say some of you might need to just be open and honest that you're not seeking a commitment with someone um or maybe you're going to explain from you know coming from the heart why you're ghosting if you are or just why you're not communicating or you might tell someone that they're living in a fantasy land and that's the damn truth right okay so you've got the wheel of fortune you've got this is a big change virgo maybe this is a big change for you um to be completely honest judgment is is kind of like talking about your your past the things that you've done in your life the things maybe you've done with a particular person i feel like some of you some of you are going to i feel like some of you honestly are going to just say yeah i'm i'm changing i'm turning the wheel i'm exit stage left some of you open yourself up perhaps to somebody new there's a possibility because the Wheel of Fortune is making a change. Does that mean somebody new is coming in? Perhaps. We've been seeing that in the past week. Um, but I feel like for you, it's more along the lines of like, you got to like, you got to cause some kind of judgment. Like, you might wake up one morning this week and just have like, you know, hear the, hear the call you're just like, oh my gosh, you gotta, I feel like the message is you need to speak your truth, but you need to like open up your heart, not in order to be hurt, hurt, but to open up your heart and maybe say to someone you're changing your mind or you've changed your mind. Um, that wheel of fortune really does make me feel like you're getting a lucky break this week is what I'm hearing. Um, I don't know what exactly that means. Some of you, maybe there's like a, a text message because I see a lot of, I see a lot of like books, like writing. You might have been journaling. Some of you might also need to or will be opening up and journaling about some type of an experience from your past. Ooh, got the moon. Wow. Um, 
So yeah, there's this revealing, this revelation. It feels strong. Something's coming to the surface here. Okay. Um, and you may be talking to someone and giving the truth about someone or, or telling them about someone. Uh, something I feel like maybe you have kept hidden. Or, or you might be jotting down your dreams this week. Okay. Some of you might be just moving on from a relationship because it's sketchy and there's lies and um, too much in the dark as well. Maybe you're seeing this. You definitely have some kind of a re revelation and a wake-up call this week. Let's see. What else do you have? Oh, yeah. Look. Hmm. You could be telling off an abuser or cutting something off with an abuser or telling someone who maybe cut you off are just doing the same in return and not giving anything back just making this huge change i i even when i look at that um seven of cups i feel like there may have been some ghosting as well or something along those lines somebody might have ghosted you and you're just like you know i'm out of here you're not you're not dealing with it it's too shady it's too sketch okay but and and you know what virgo with the wheel of wheel of fortune this week it's in your favor to do so and and even possibly open your heart up to somebody else and reveal some i feel like you've been keeping something under wraps for whatever reason you might not have wanted to admit something to another person it, you could have some shame or just you don't you know virgos like to maintain that sense of composure virgos don't like to seem weak virgos don't like to um really ask for help because i mean most of the time virgos are pretty much like um self self-care they know how to like deal with things but something here it looks like you might need this week to really open up and talk to somebody and just be in your authentic truth going forward okay let's see what else okay wow and that's going to bring blessings to you virgo don't um don't allow yourself to sit in shame or fear um that there'll be backlash or don't allow yourself to feel like you know if you, maybe you have some doubts even with the moon that can cause some doubts don't allow yourself even if you have doubts you know talk about your doubts look then your cup overflows here the ace of cups so it is talking about your doubts like or your fears or your shames or things like that even with a trusted friend or someone that has really good intentions for you you know you've got new love coming so for some of you it could be opening your heart up to somebody new absolutely and i feel like there's this big gush of release this week yeah let's see if we can see who is coming in this week for you oh, oh we got two cards come on oh wow there we go this looks like a really good friend and a relationship that can blossom into a new romance could be with another virgo it may just be an energy of like i feel like you connect with someone this week virgo whether like i said whether it's a friend or a romantic prospect you've been on your own i don't feel like you've been isolating but you've been on your own doing a lot of thinking self-reflecting and it looks like this week you start kind of opening up your your heart yourself which does attract love into your life. Something, you know, when there's when you come from a place of sincerity and authenticity, I feel like um, that is really, it feels like to reveal your true inner self, even if your inner self feels distraught, share that, share that with someone. But, you know, of course, you know, you don't want to throw your pearls to the swine, of course. So you got to be careful, as always, of who you're sharing yourself with. So make sure that, you know, whoever you're sharing things with, they don't have bad intentions. I don't feel like someone has bad intentions here with you. I feel like someone here is coming in as an equal for you to find a common thread 
between the two of you or a common bond. There's like an exchanging of emotion and good wishes. <clears throat> and it, it does feel like it can bloom. It does feel like something's gonna something's gonna bloom here this week. Let me see if there's anything else Virgo needs to know. Wow, I've got the star. This is beautiful. So there's a sense of renewal and hope you will experience this week by opening yourself up, being honest and truthful about whatever you're, even if you're angry about something, which you could be, um, you know, it's okay. Express express your feelings. Express yourself. <laughs> Don't go for second best, baby. Put your love to the test. <laughs> And then you'll know if your love is real. All right, Madonna, get the fuck out of my readings. <laughs> so look at that. I love it. Joy, happiness, success. That's pretty much the outcome of you opening yourself up. Freedom. Some of you are just seeking freedom from some of a relationship and you're going to get it. You're going to get that freedom by opening up and connecting and making a connection and not you know, um, keeping yourself in hermit mode. There's there's freedom when we exchange ideas, thoughts, and feelings with uh, another person. You might, like I said, find a common thread or common ground with someone. Um, meeting uh, like a mutuality with someone this week. Could be a Leo, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Taurus, um, yeah, so I feel like, it, and try not to focus on the sign too much, uh, I just throw those out there, but there's no court card, so I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you all of that energy is playing out here, and the cards are pretty much positive, do you know what I mean? So I feel like if you take some time to share this week to open yourself up you're, you're actually going to attract the love that you deserve this week okay now in the case of like if you're ending something with someone you can rest assured this person is going to return and you can expect to hear from them whether you just ghost yourself or you you know straight out tell somebody what's up oh they're going to be back with a love message now let's take a look why oh, six of wands because this person needs your attention they need your gosh they need you to see them oh my goodness they won't take no for an answer you know virgo this person returning I mean, if you end something with someone, or if you have, this person is 100% going to fight, and they're even going to take some kind of risk. Um, like, for example, they just said, if you, let's say that you have someone in your life that, you know, you guys were drinking alcohol together, and you decided you aren't going to do that anymore. And you can't be with them because they drink too much and it's not healthy for you. And this is, I'm just giving you an example. It could be a, a message for you, but I'm giving an example. Uh, this person's going to do this whole, okay, I'm not going to drink anymore. Like they're going to just kind of go off a limb and do whatever it takes, right? Now, it's not necessarily a good thing. It really depends. We just have to see Aquarius energy here. But it's mostly because this person sits in this position of the Six of Wands where they, they, I don't know if they're attention seeking or if they're just someone that has a lot of people around them and they can't not have you as part of that. So there's this holding on energy, you know, um, holding on tight to the relationship. So yeah, that's what I feel like. Oh gosh, Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. So there's your first court card, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, this person is going to lay it on thick like caramel. Masculine or feminine energy. Um, 
just give me another chance. I want this opportunity. I'll show you. I'll, I'll prove it to you. I'm strong. I can fight. You know? Um, and really, I feel like butter you up a little bit here. I don't know if this is a warning for you. If it's coming from here, it might be a warning to like watch out. Okay. Um, if this is someone that was, you know, abusive in the past with the five of swords or was heart, you know, broke your heart or something along those lines, you got to be careful with that kind of a person trying to try to get in. Um, now, it could be just a sense where, I mean, like, even if they're coming back, I feel like they're making promises but they're on a whim. They're not carefully thought out. It's basically just anything to keep you kind of where you are. And the Empress. Why is this here? Why is this Empress here? You know, when, when someone makes a decision to kind of... Um, People, when they make a decision to make a change in their life, they sh I always feel the best decision is made when it's coming from within yourself and you're ready, willing, and motivated to commit to that. Not because of s some external thing. You know, um, you know, people, uh, like, I don't know why I keep going back to alcohol. <laughs> I don't know if this is something related to you, but like, <clears throat> Like someone gets a DUI, you know what I mean? Driving drunk or something, they get caught. And then they do those foxhole prayers. I'll never drink again, I'll never do this again. But it's not, they're not really committed to that. They're just, at the moment, it they feel like, oh, no, 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 it's like a panic situation. At the moment, you know, it feels like, oh, I'm never going to do this again. I guess they call them like foxhole prayers. I'm never going to behave this way again. I'm going to clean up my act and do whatever because this person views you as like this empress. Like you are, they're giving me this phrase, um, primary. You are primary. Okay. So maybe this person was like blocking or not like holding back they're holding back but i feel like they're gonna bum rush you <laughs> so it's not so that you don't go or that you or they try to do something different you know like it's a it's a it's a risk but virgo it's temporary and that's what that is why i feel like you got to be careful when people make those promises that they're going to do this and they're going to do that or they try to kind of reel you in with the page of cups or they apologize they use this empathy thing or they try to do all this like actions speak louder than words that's just the bottom line consistent action so i always say don't listen to people's words and really don't even watch their actions independently of each other watch a consistent pattern of words and actions meeting up that's when you'll know you know, so if you've got someone who's like telling you all this stuff, but then they're not walking the talk, then they're a, they're a bullshitter. And if you got someone who's walking a particular direction, but telling you differently, they're still bullshitting. So whoever's coming into your life, you know, they, like they got to actually have show up in both ways on a consistent basis. You know, whatever consistency is for you, you know, um, even if there's temporary pauses, like short, you know, no one could be at someone's side 24 seven, but I feel like you're making some kind of decision here. You're freeing yourself. You're opening yourself up, talking maybe about your, your situation and letting somebody go and you've got new love coming in. But then, you know, like I said, this person's going to be back, but with the eight of cups, it's kind of like, all right. All right, they come back, they stack you up in the queue, and then they go out and they go looking for others, other lovers. Yeah, so, you know, not the best message. And then they come back again. So Virgo, <laughs> I don't know who this, I don't know who you're dealing with. I don't know what's up with this King of Cups. You know, the King of Cups is in the upright, um, which generally tells me that this is someone who, um, 
does have empathy, but I don't know. There's something about you that they don't want to let go, and they're they're not going to let go. E- and even if they let go and walk away for five to eight days, five to eight weeks, five to eight years, they still come back. They keep coming back. They'll keep, and they will keep coming back. So it's really not about anything else other than you being sure on your firm decision it looks like this week of what you're going to do you might get some really good advice from somebody and then and somebody might tell you oh don't yeah this they're going to be back they're going to come back they're going to try to win you back but i mean virgo you're not a trophy do you know what i mean like you're not an object so if that's if that's how you feel look at you king of pentacles queen of wands so you've got a good match coming forward here with someone you might be connecting with an earth sign this week you might be connecting with um, a fire sign this week as well while somebody's trying to hold on to you or put you back up on a shelf yikes yikes virgo i hope that's not your situation and if it is you're not meant to be on a shelf and dust it off whenever it's convenient for somebody else that's not that's not healthy all right, so let's move over to health. And then after that, I'm going to pull all your charms and your cards, okay? So you've got health issues could arise this week. And I feel like it might be more along the lines of like mental mental health issues that affect your heart. So I feel like the message just with that card is to pay good attention to your mental status this week in regards to this whole situation. Yeah, look, you got a headache. Virgo, may you might even have a migraine or be suffering from my a migraine this week due to this whole scenario or situation that's occurring here this week. Um, because you got to put some boundaries up. Look, Virgo, you've been through it, you've been through it, and it's been affecting you physically here. So, this week, it looks like you need to protect your energy, protect your mental, yeah, your mental state. Look. Especially if somebody is returning and making promises or saying things to win you back. Um, it looks like it's going to have a... It's not the Nine of Swords, so that's good. You're not going to break down. But you might be triggered. Somebody might be coming in and playing the victim card. But I do feel like, um, yeah, that, that's a strong message. Your mental health... Just this week, Virgo. Just get through this week. Go work it off at the gym or, you know, distract yourself in some kind of, um, I don't know, series or something. Or you can even get a personal reading. Yeah. You need to, like, gain balance and composure. Because I feel like there's some kind of, like, roller co emotional roller coaster ride you might feel like you're on this week. And you're just trying to steady, steady as she goes, trying to steady yourself this week. You know, kind of like, you know, you're when you're on a boat and the boat's going back and forth and you're just trying to maintain homeostasis and, you know, not tip over. Wow, Virgo. Big time message there. Okay. Look, yeah, you've got somebody who's going to be trying to give this love. Um, you may have some options that you need to think about as well, you know, um, and even too, I feel like the message here is if you feel like you are on a, a boat that's like rocking in the high seas, um, and it's affecting you mentally, perhaps the best advice here this week, Virgo, is to try to just remain indifferent as much as you can. So that your your mental like kind of just remain indifferent you know there's a saying um the secret to happiness is not giving a fuck <laughs> excuse me i keep dropping the f-bomb today that is the secret to happiness people say well what's the secret to happiness money fame fortune no the secret to happiness is keeping your expectations low and then because then you won't be disappointed yeah look you know take care that you don't get a flu take care of your body this week if something is affecting you mentally because mental stress and things like that or a feeling of being trapped or something like that 
can have effect on your physical health you know so take your vitamin c virgo get out in the sun if you can um get out in the fresh air go play with a puppy <laughs> Not one they give you, but go play with a puppy or something so that it, because I definitely see there's a little bit of a struggle this week. Okay. Some of you also may be deciding um, that you, maybe you want to take um, some kind of medicine of some sort, but you're just not sure. Okay. About some type of medicine this week. Let's see. It will, it will be revealed. Things will come clear to you this week about your health and about what you need to do. And I feel like the biggest message here, if something feels overwhelming for you and it is affecting your mental health, um, I'm hearing clear, oh, they said, Clear your, clear your mind and the rest will follow. So whatever that means for you to clear your mind, whatever you need to do, here you have the Three of Swords. Oh, some of you might be going through a divorce or you've had, there's an argument or some kind of discard, possibly a breakup, and it may have you feeling kind of like defeated. But the good news about the Ten of Swords here is that's like rock bottom. That's like you've you've gone. You can't go low. You can't go any further down the hole here. Now, when you look up, all you see is the light. You know, so you might be kind of climbing out of some kind of hole this week, and it, you know, it's really important just to feel your feelings and then let them go. You know, journal, write, do whatever. I do see you have support this week though from either one good friend that can blossom into a romance or just. A, someone very close to you or that you get close to that really helps you with what you're dealing with this week all right let's take a look and see what your chinese sign try to qualify the reading a little bit more here for you all right so you could be born in the year of the rat the year of the rabbit the year of the dog the year of the monkey the year of the horse, year of the pig, the year of the dragon, and the year of the ox. Now, if that doesn't resonate for you, Virgo, that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. All right, I want to get some love messages to see what else Virgo needs to know. What else does Virgo need to know this week? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What other messages? Virgo this week oh beautiful protected you are safe and divinely guided so that's wonderful you are, you're safe Virgo okay you are protected this week and you also have marriage this relationship is moving toward a secret union so I don't know exactly but there is a relationship that's going to move either towards marriage or just a, a very blessed blessed union something you just it's like oh my gosh someone's like an angel comes down from up above and then you've got unavailable so someone is unavailable to give you all you deserve um that could be someone that you have let go in the past or are letting go this week where they return but they're really not like i said they're really not available Maybe that's something that you see. That might be something that you, you come to terms with this week. It could be emotionally unavailable or they're just incapable of meeting a need for you. Let's see. <laughs> Longing someone. Yeah, I feel like it's the person coming back. This person longs for you. Always, like I said, they gave me that word primary. Like you're some kind of primary for them and even if they go out into the world and they're you know doing whatever they're doing with other people you know you're still in their mind which is really odd you know what i mean like i mean if somebody's unavailable to meet your needs and they don't like they can't have um a healthy relationship with you and then they're seeking out other people why are they still longing for you you know like what's up something's not right there something's not right there i wouldn't say that that's love <laughs> um 
yeah, I don't know who, you know, you, you've got, it's that you're, that you have a, some type of relationship with. You may have been in denial. Um, you may be coming out of that this week, detaching with love to just really get to the bottom of something and see the truth about something this week, about another person, or maybe you're just being reminded. <clears throat> okay, forgiveness. Yeah, Virgo, big message here. First and foremost is to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself if you didn't, you know, acknowledge red flags. And, you know, part of letting go of someone is not necessarily that you have to forgive them first. I feel like you need to accept what somebody is and who they are first in order to forgive and, and clean the slate and move forward with your life. You know, it's hard to accept someone that you don't really know what they are. I feel like the message is you need to get clear within your mind and in your heart, have that wake up call about a relationship with someone that's returning that you, you may not have, maybe you thought it was something else they come back, maybe they try to give you all these beautiful, you know, the page of cups messages, and they try to tell you, uh, you know, you're, the, you're their true love, because like I said, they kept you as a primary for some reason, yep, they come in with that apology, some of you want to hear an apology, and if so, you can expect to hear that, and others of you are like, I don't need it, because it doesn't, like, fine, that's for you, not for me, you know? Um, yeah, you got a, a tough week emotionally, it looks like, but you're not alone here, Virgo. You're not going to be alone in this scenario, okay? You have support from other people, which is really important, I believe, for you. All right, let's get into your, see here, initials, dates. All right, so someone's born in January. Someone may be born in October. I just heard Janie, Janie. You've got the letter I, you have the letter O. Someone works at the post office. Someone is, okay, we got the 64, and then we have 60, could be year of birth or age. All right, we have August 26th, September 9th. We have the initial L. Someone was born in 1975, or maybe you are 75. We've got the letter B and the letter E. Um, Bella, I just heard Bella. Um, someone might be boiling <laughs> some something right now. Boiling, or you're boiling like you're, you're angry, or someone's angry, feeling that way. Um, uh, all right, now they're telling me earlobe. Something about an earlobe. I don't know. They're saying... Tell them earlobe. Okay. Someone is 43. Someone is 35. Um, and I'm also, they're giving me this song now, right when I looked at this. Uh, the Beatles song, Let It Be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. All right. So you, oh, I'm hearing Sue. Letter S, the letter E, September 19th. Oh, soon you will see. They're saying soon you will see, Virgo. This week you will see. You'll see the light. Did I say um, September 17th? Okay, someone's born in 67. Uh, September 5th. August 31st. You've got the letter Z. Someone's name, initial, letter Z. All right, someone's 49. Got the letter X. Someone's born in 87. And we've got the initial J. All right, let's get your zodiac sign. Um, what am I asking with this zodiac sign? Um, okay. Okay. They just said, if your Venus is in one of these signs, this is a qualifier for you. Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces. 
Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Taurus, Taurus, Virgo. All right, one more. Virgo keeps coming up. Pisces and Cancer. So if you don't know what your Venus sign is, just go to, I think you can go to Cafe Astrology. You can type in your year of birth. If you know your time, that's fine. You don't need your time to know what your Venus sign is in at the year of your birth. The time, I believe, and if I'm wrong, you can certainly tell me, but I believe the time of your birth is really only significant to get your rising sign. Um, but I believe that if you just type in your year of birth and your, your place of birth, you'll be able to get your Venus sign. Okay. So let's see, what are the charms here for you, Virgo? Oh, wow, beautiful. This is, this is, this is a sign. <laughs> some of you need to pray. Oh boy, you need to pray and ask for some help from up above. Higher power, whomever you wanna call. Nobody's on this cross, so you've, you've, they just said, they just said cross to bear. You've got a, you've got a cross to bear. Oh, now they're giving me that song by Alanis Morissette. You ought to know. You ought to know. Oh boy, that's a rough song, Virgo. You ought to know is a rough song. I don't know. Maybe you know, know what I'm talking about with that song. And you also have, hold on. I want to get the black card so you can see. Somebody might be born in the year of the horse. And I did I say horse? I think I did. Yes, they've got a horse here. And now they're also giving me another song. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. I don't, I don't know about that. But, okay. And this also just gives me a feeling of freedom. You know, like horses or a horse just galloping on the beach and just running, running free. Um, maybe you are on a horse listening to this or you live in an area or maybe you do something with horses. And one more, one more charm for Virgo. Okay. Oh, so, okay. You legit have a peacock. Virgo, show your true colors. That's the message here. Fan them out. Be yourself. Show your beauty. Show your, your gorgeous heart. Don't quit on yourself. Fan the flames. <laughs> Be proud of who you are. Peacock, you know, I know why a peacock does this with their... Somebody might be peacocking for you this week as well. You know, trying to show you, like, you know, all their beautiful colors. But you know what? That's fine. Somebody might be, like, flexing on you this week. Well, maybe you're going to be flexing this week being proud of yourself okay so i kind of feel like if i was going to give you a weather forecast in reference to this reading i would have to say partly cloudy um but that's also partly sunny so it all depends on how you look at it where do you choose to put your energy this week virgo focusing on the clouds or focusing on the sun it, it feels like a 50 50 you know and it can go in whatever way you choose your week to go uh, make sure if you do make a choice that it's in a positive and a, of a benefit to you. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that reading. Thank you for waiting the extra day. I greatly appreciate it. I had a birthday party for my my middle son um, for his 25th. And um, although his birthday is not until next week, he is a Pisces. Um, very sweet, loving, wonderful boy. Well, he's a man now. So... Um, thanks for giving me the day off. I had a really nice time with him. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. All right. Have a great, great evening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your super chats and please give a thumbs up to the mods. They are amazing. All right, you guys. And I will, um, give you guys the shout outs tomorrow when I come back for all the new uh, actually, you know what, if you guys want to hang out, let me just do it right now. I, I don't know what's going on here. But it felt like my, the last time I checked, it felt like my um, members weren't showing up. But let me just double check because, you know what, I was going to do it tomorrow, but I think I'm going to do it now. So Danny Becker, Tiffany Conlin, and I think 
yes, thank you guys for joining and becoming members. I'm super grateful and I really appreciate that. And it's great to see you guys. So yeah, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.